Oh my gosh, we're locked out. Oh god. Uh oh. Excuse me. Oh yeah, excuse me. Hi. Hi. Can you let me in my room? I just got locked out. Thank you. That was funny and real. I really need to get my back. <laughs> Bonjour, Vogue. It's Precious Lee, and we're about to get ready to open the Nina Ricci show. Come in. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I do to get ready in the morning. And I did the off-white show yesterday, and I bleached my brows, which we're going to have a fun little morning experimenting using a Parisian brow tint. Even if you're not tired and you just wanna feel refreshed and get that morning snatch, I love doing this ice bath. It's such an old trick. The first time I saw someone do this was Joan Crawford in a movie. Um, what was the movie? Mommy Dearest. And she would do that in the morning. She had this gnarly like 10 step routine that she would get ready for. And so I just always loved that. Ah! <sighs> okay, she's refreshed, she's awake. Now, she has to get her brow back. I've never used it. So you guys are about to witness a true experiment. I love a bleach brow moment. I'm a girl that loves to experiment. Like one of my favorite things about modeling is being able to bring so much energy to different characters. The Off-White Show, it was a giant installation of a moon. And so we were giving hot alien vibes. So it was like, yeah, bleach them, I'm down. We're gonna wait. Oh, I gotta set a timer. Somebody set a timer. Guys, let's see what's gonna happen. Guys, don't try this at home. This could have went really well. They're back. Do we like? Yeah. Is she back? They're like back to like black, black. It's fine. It's cute. It's fat. It's strong. Normally, I have music blasting. Lately, it's been giving Beyonce Renaissance and like vintage rap. When I say vintage, I mean like five years ago. <laughs> One of the things that I've learned, especially for fashion week and runway shows is you just have to be like flexible and malleable and understand that anything can happen. A shoe breaks, a pin pops, like there's so much drama that can happen. And I think the main thing is to like remember that this is supposed to truly be fun. I know it's cliche and people say it all the time, but when the crazy stuff happens, like, you know, my flight being delayed in New York for six hours and then canceling and then the next day losing my passport and then saying they didn't find it and then they found it. Went the next day, sat on a plane for three more hours, landed after a seven and a half, eight hour flight and went straight to off-white. And I could have like had a meltdown and been so sad about it, but, it's fashion, baby. What are we thinking? This, this. I think it's giving chic. That's what we're gonna do. Going down. You guys should put in a little music. Elevator <laughs> music. <laughs> Not the runway slayer. How are you? Good. You want to say hey to Vogue? Hi, Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Woo, thank you. Thank you. We're going to go grab a coffee and a little bite to eat before the show. The light here is insane. I truly think I'm cuter in Paris. My entire matriculation, I was juggling modeling and college, and it was so difficult to do because I'm running to a photo shoot in another city while trying to make sure that my midterms are on time. It was just such a struggle of me realizing like what I really wanted. And I wanted to be an advocate and that this platform as a model would enable me to have more access to people and to touch more people and to, to talk about the things that I wanted to contribute to society and change. So I put off law school, which I knew I wanted to be a lawyer since seventh grade. And I knew it and I was like, this is happening. I'm gonna be a sports and entertainment attorney, crisis communication, I had a whole plan. And I took the LSAT. I'm just so grateful that I took the leap 
a faith to bet on myself. I could have easily been afraid to take the jump. There was no one that looked like me. I had no real start in modeling that was equivalent to, I guess, most people's stars of the things that I wanted to do. Regardless if you want to be in fashion or not, like you really truly have to better yourself and really trust and believe that whatever it is that is in your heart and your mind and space to do, like you're 100% capable. It's showtime, baby. My mom, I love her so much. She's like literally my number one fan. And she called me and she was like, wait, is this the first time that a curved model has opened a show in Paris Fashion Week? And I'm like, huh? I was like, ma, I didn't, who think, what are you, are you like the Guinness Book of World Records? I didn't even think about that. Hey. Hi. Rocking the runway is case by case basis, right? And for the Nina Ricci show today, we were able to walk slower. You can do more shoulders, you can do more hips. And so I definitely channeled my inner 90s super energy. I just press down again. And then give me a new lipstick. It's not pleasant, just opening the show, so can she go get dressed now? So remember earlier when I was saying that everything oh, always so ends like, up being like, yeah. there, and you have to be flexible. Well, it's 58, so it's happening right now. Come on, come on. When I came to Nina Ricci, a massive, massive push and focus that I wanted to have was not only on diversity across gender, which is something I'm really known for, but also across body positivity. And I think Precious symbolizes and embodies fluidity and beauty and confidence in such a strong, powerful way. So it was like a real big childhood dream come true that she said yes to walking my first debut. So everyone, enjoy the show. Bye. Okay, guys. I told you it was going to be Hectic drama. Wait, 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 what? Earring, earring. Q-tip, please. Let's just take it out. Let's take this one out because I'm not going to see it anyway. Walk down on the white, come back on the black. Walk on the black, come back on the white. We got this. Ready? We're going to deliver the party. Can all photographers leave now? Back here. All photographers can go. Thank you for being with me to watch my diary of a model in Paris. I'm so glad I Bye.